I have these scratches when uh, because of the green corn ceremony, which I uh, which I grew up doing ever since I was seven years old. The story behind the scratches is uh, every year, a long time ago, when the new harvest of corn came in, which was the main, almost the main source of food for our, for our tribe back then, it represented like a new life, like a new, like a new beginning, because it would supply you all the way until the end of the year. When that new, when that new harvest came in, that's what we call it the green corn ceremony. You're basically without sleep for two, for two days without food or water, and you take medicine. And this medicine it comes from a red root. Uh, that and you put it in water and it turns the whole entire, turns the pool red. You drink it, you wash off with it, you clean yourself with it, and then you go through with your ceremonies. You get scratched and pet and sets. So there's four scratches. You know you can get them anywhere you'd like. You know wherever you feel. It could be where you have pain. It can be wherever you have. You know where you feel like you need it. When you take that medicine, it it cleans you out of all the bad, of all the bad that you've done the year before. And when you get scratched, that's what lets it all out. It's all that bad stuff. You don't bleed a lot, of course, but you bleed a little bit. And um, you wash that off with that medicine and it's supposed to make you all better. They call it, in, in our language, they call it sabi, which means scratch. You do it for four years straight and you get a name. And I've done it for four years straight, so this past this past year I got my name. Gofixikoji, which means Little Heartless Raccoon, which is what clan I was from, is the, which is the Raccoon Clan. It's what it takes to become a man in your culture. You go through this, you get your name, and then you become basically, back then, a warrior. I think it's our priority to at least know what your culture and what you stand for, you know, what you what you came from. I'm gonna try my best to, to pass it on to my children and, and hopefully their children pass it on.